Have you ever noticed that motivation doesn't work? I used to wonder why, and then I did some research and I discovered what's really going on here. So that's what I'm gonna share with you. Stick around. Welcome to another episode of Fearless and Power Tube. I'm Sharon Koenig and this is the place to be to create a better version of you. All right, so we all have goals, we have hopes and dreams, and, and we want to be motivated to achieve our goals, but sometimes we fall flat on our face and we wonder why. So we think the magic formula is having motivation so that we can get through the day, so we can do the things that we don't necessarily want to do. We all have these ideas and we think that we want to do it, but sometimes they just feel too big for us to achieve. So oftentimes we just don't do it and we feel like we need to be motivated and we seek out seminars and workshops and there's all of these motivational speakers and you can feel motivated for a certain period of time, but then after a while you go home and you get back in your normal routine and all of a sudden you have no more motivation to achieve those goals and you start feeling disappointed in yourself. But I wanna share with you why this is happening. So I realized that these motivational speakers, the seminars and the workshops, and there's videos and there's books and everything, and maybe even watching this video, it can create some dopamine and adrenaline, right? And that makes you feel like you're all jazzed up and you're ready to achieve anything. You're on top of the world, but then tomorrow you wake up and you're groggy and you gotta go to work and the baby's crying and there's another bill that shows up and you just start feeling like your head is spinning and you don't know what you're going to do. And now you realize you've just set right back into your normal routine and you think, wow, I need another workshop. It's not the motivational speakers, it's not the motivational videos that are what you need to implement into your life. Sure, they're awesome, I love them too, but what we really need to learn here is what's going on in our own mind. So when we don't achieve our goals and we can't seem to get through some of the simplest things, we start to feel very disappointed in ourselves and we often feel like we have failed. And then that creates more fear and then we spiral out of control. And then we just kind of give up, a lot of us do. But I wanna make sure that you understand that this is sometimes it's beyond your control. When you start feeling disappointed in yourself because you're not achieving your goals or you're not living up to someone else's standards or you're not even living up to your own standards, you really want to find out what's going on here. So you probably have a goal. You have some sort of hope and dream. How do you actually feel about this goal and dream? This is something that we need to target. We need to get clear on right now because if it makes you feel scared, then that's probably more likely that you're not going to achieve that goal. If this is something that excites you, then you might have a little bit of trouble achieving it because of the fear of failure factor. But if it doesn't excite you at all and you just feel sort of happy like, yeah, this is in alignment with me, I really wanna do this, then you are really in alignment with this goal and you don't need the motivation, you don't need the willpower to get going on your dreams. And this is something where all you have to do is realize that setting goals and following through on proper goal setting is all that you need to do. But if you are looking at a goal that scares you or excites you, then we have to get through something and that is very important. So I'm just gonna tell it like it is here. No human being on the planet is really cut out to achieve goals. We're not really cut out to do some of our hopes and dreams. And when you realize that it's beyond your control, then you might feel like, well, what's the point? Why don't I just give up? Well, there's something more important that we need to realize here is just because our brains were designed to keep us safe and to stop us doesn't mean that we shouldn't try, doesn't mean that we shouldn't 
try to pursue different strategies to reach our hopes and our dreams. But just knowing that your brain is designed to stop you whenever you feel uncomfortable. So understand something. We all are in the habit of procrastination, every one of us on some level or another. But understand when we're talking about the way the brain works is whenever there's a slight bit of hesitation there, your brain kicks in and says, oh, we better stop. So we realize that if our goal is to lose weight and you hesitate on it, then your brain is going to stop you. Maybe you're thinking, oh, I can't do that. I, I've failed before and I don't know how I'm going to do that or maybe I can't sustain it because I've never achieved this physique that I wanted or you know maybe you're saying I want to uh, make a hundred thousand dollars this next year when you've only made fifty thousand dollars your whole life so then in your mind you're thinking how am I going to achieve that? And if I did achieve it, could I maintain it? Could I sustain that? And there's a great deal of fear that's going on there when you think about that. So immediately when you hesitate making that goal or, or thinking about it or saying it, there's where your brain kicks in, it automatically stops you. It's in the amygdala, it's in our mind. It, it's something that was put there by our maker in the infinite wisdom to keep us safe against the saber-toothed tigers because that's the way the world was designed. And certainly we don't have saber-toothed tigers today, but yeah, we do have a lot of things and people and situations that we need to be weary of to keep ourselves safe, to keep our families safe. So when you are hesitating, even just slightly, you need to know that your amygdala is at work. It is stopping you from achieving the things that you want. So motivation is a wonderful thing. And like I said, I love it too. It just makes you feel so good and it really jazzes you up and you feel like you need that every day. It's like a pill, right? And it does get that adrenaline going. That's what I love about working out, especially working out amongst people that are really fit. You just look at them and it just makes you feel motivated to do more, right? And you might even have a role model that's achieving that thing that you want. And every time you listen to them or read their stuff or see them, then it fires you up, right? But ultimately, no, that is not the magic pill that's going to help you achieve your goals. So let's understand what's going on here, be more mindful, take some steps on how to properly set your goals. I do have a video for you and I'll link it here in the description below so that you can watch that too because I want you to succeed. I really hope you got a lot out of this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I have a little bonus for you here. I have created a free course over on my blog and all you have to do is click the link in the description below and it's yours. It's all about self-sabotage, helping us be more confident and bold and achieve those dreams and goals that we have in our heart and in our mind. Thank you so much for watching and if you're into watching videos about winning at life, consider subscribing. This is Sharon Koenig and I am out.